This video is gonna trigger a lot of people, but it needs to be said. And if you hate me for saying it, I don't particularly care. This is what I believe in, and this is the best way for me to serve people that are learning Blender. It would be an absolute disservice to not speak exactly how I feel regarding Blender add-ons. Here's the truth. You should be using Blender add-ons and you should be using them all the time. It is completely unacceptable to be complaining about the use of tools that save you time. I've noticed that in Blender, we have two particular groups of people. We have those that love and swear by add-ons and we have those that complain and bitch because they aren't free. The people in the first group are the ones that I speak with on a daily basis and they're the ones that I actually see winning and succeeding and the people in the second group are either complaining and getting nothing done or they're actively working towards being able to get the right tools even if they can't get them right now which i respect i always see these random comments but blender is free but this add-on costs money but i can't afford it look i'm gonna give you a short story here that i hope will make sense to people still stuck in this mindset because i once had a similar mindset as well our video editor is fantastic he's edited this video right here he knows Blender well and is an absolute gem for helping us produce content for you here on YouTube. But before I found my current video editor, I was briefly in contact with a different one, and he was actually pretty gifted at editing. There was only one major issue with the last video editor. He was taking way too long to produce content for us, so I simply asked him, hey, just curious why this turnaround time is so long. And what he told me completely baffled me. He said he didn't want to pay for video editing software like Adobe Premiere, which would have helped him to edit quicker. So I said, why don't you just get the software that will make your workflow 10 times quicker and allow you to achieve 10 times the results. You'll be producing more content for me, which means you'll get paid more. And at the end of the day, he simply refused to do it. He was so stuck in this mindset of, I'm not going to use anything that's not free, that he literally lost a full-time video editing position with us. And the irony there is the money we would have paid him would have covered all the costs of the tools plus more. I, as a business owner, did not care about how he felt about using paid tools. I cared about the results. And any of you that are looking to get a job with a studio, do freelance work, start your own business, or build a proper portfolio will be viewed the same exact way. You need to start valuing your time. If you can't afford the tools, instead of complaining and playing victim, how about you go out and hustle and make the extra cash so that way you can buy back hundreds, if not thousands of hours of your time. I will say it one more time, nobody cares what you're situation is. They care about the results. And the way you get results and improve the efficiency of your workflow is by using the correct tools for the job. There is somebody out there right now that is spending three months modeling random plants and bushes for their blender scene instead of just using an add-on like Botanique, for example. And these same people are the ones flexing that they accomplish the same task without paid tools. Congratulations. You just spent 500 hours to save 50 bucks. You just just effectively valued your time at 40 cents per hour and are bragging about it. It is seriously baffling to me, guys. Some of you watching this will get me and understand me and love me for saying this, and the other half will get angry and leave hate comments. And if you're in the last category, I don't particularly care. Go ahead and do your thing. The comment section is open. But for those of you that think rationally and still are hesitant to get the right tools for the job, this video was mainly for you. It was meant to tip you over the edge so you can experience experience true success and freedom within your workflow. Get the right tools for the job, guys. Even if you can't afford all of them right now, start with the most effective ones that will get you the best results in the meantime. And also, stop complaining that people charge for their tools and services. These tools wouldn't exist without a financial incentive. Your car to get to work wouldn't exist if someone didn't have a financial incentive. Your public transport wouldn't exist if someone wasn't getting paid to drive. And you certainly aren't walking into the car dealership telling the salesman, I could walk 50 miles instead of driving, so why would I pay for this vehicle? You see how crazy this sounds. And as a disclaimer, guys, I don't use paid software or tools to make money from promoting them. Less than 2% of my income comes from affiliate commissions. I don't care. It's like a small bonus at the end of the month. The reason I use paid tools and software is for the exact reasons mentioned in this video. It saves me time, it gets me results, and it allows me to focus on what matters most, which is my creativity. If you refuse to ever spend a dime on the right tools, that's fine 
because everyone else that does will have an advantage, which means less competition for them. So I hope this video provided value to the people who really needed it most. I am simply tired of seeing this crazy free mentality that is literally the roadblock to your success. I'm gonna link all the tools I use below and just to prove a point, none of them will be affiliate links. I want you guys to completely remove any objections that might stop you from getting the tools you need. And I hope to see some of you in a year with a much more powerful workflow and much better results. I'll see you guys in the next video.